Hotmail app. How to download the Hotmail app on your iPhone. Install Hotmail on iPhone. Hotmail has grown to become one of the most popular email services online, with millions logging in on their PC or phone to manage their inbox. How do you download the Hotmail app on your iPhone? There are a huge amount of email services for people to choose from, but the two most popular are Google's Gmail and Microsoft Hotmail. Hotmail is used by more than half a billion people worldwide and is incredibly easy to use. You can use your Outlook account on your desktop PC or you can get access to your emails on your iPhone. Hotmail's most recent update to Outlook.com has confused some people when logging in on their iOS device. How to download Hotmail on your iPhone Note that these instructions have been written for Hotmail, but the process is exactly the same whether you want to set up an Outlook, Live, or MSN account. First off, go to your settings and find the Accounts and Passwords tab and tap Add Account. Select Outlook.com, though this is still the same process if your account is Hotmail, Live, or MSN. You will then need to log into your account, so enter your email address and password and tap Next. Tap Yes if you want to give permission to iOS to access your data. You can then select which data you can access on your iPhone. Select if you want to sync your email, contacts, calendars, and reminders. Go to the mail application on your iPhone. Your Hotmail account and all your emails should be available there. You can also download the Outlook.com app to your phone if you would rather have mail for something else. Simply head over to the App Store and search for Outlook. You can also search for Hotmail. Tap Get and wait for the app to install on your phone. Fire up the app and sign in and you will be able to access all your emails through the app. How to create a Hotmail or Outlook account To create a Hotmail or Outlook account you have to create a Microsoft account. To do this, go to www.login.live.com and create a new account. You will need to input some personal information before you can complete this process. You have to fill in your name, date of birth, location, and username. You can opt to log in via a new email address or you can use a phone number to sign up and confirm your new account. You must then create a new strong password to protect your account and personal emails. It is recommended to include capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters at pound dollar percent, in your password to make it robust enough. Once these steps are complete, you will be required to test your login with your new username and password. Once done, you can begin adding contacts and using the email services.